I first built Cricket a little wheelchair cart out of PVC pipe and hot glue and a little towel to try to support her. She would get in it and just freeze. She didn't know what to do. So I built a second cart out of the kids' toys and similarly didn't work out. After Cricket was born, everything looked like it was progressing right on track. She was getting bigger. She was putting on weight in the appropriate increments. Right around four weeks is when kittens really start trying to move and walk and wander. And I just wasn't seeing that progress in Cricket. And I was like, what's going on with Cricket? It could be cerebral hypoplasia or wobbly syndrome. DH is a neurological disorder. Cricket's brain didn't fully form the cerebellum, and that is what's responsible for teaching her how to balance and coordinate her movement. Thankfully, it doesn't affect lifespan at all. She's not in any pain. She just thinks that that's how life is, a little bit shaky. Eating was definitely the biggest task that was affected by the CH. Because her head was always wobbling and she couldn't hold herself still, it looked like she was a chicken pecking at her food. I would put my hand underneath of her chest and hold her up so she didn't have to focus on balancing herself. As she grew stronger, I tried a bunch of different ways of helping her. I tried hydrotherapy with her. She hated it. She hated every second of it. I did find that the best form of therapy for her was really just playing. She wanted to grow stronger just by being a kitten. And that was really what helped her out the best. Cricket really hates to be alone. If you're in one room and she doesn't know where you are, she will cry until you come get her. She got her name because she was the loudest kitten of the litter. She was chirping nonstop. Cricket's confidence has definitely skyrocketed. She's only nine months old. She has so much time to continue growing and learning and get stronger and even more confident. It's just awesome to see all the steps that she's making towards that. I'm making sure that she has a good life, and that makes me feel good knowing when I lay down with her and we snuggle up and I feel her purring, I know that she's so happy. Like, comment, and subscribe.